Do you have a monosynth or a mono euro rack? And have you ever wondered what it would sound like if it could play chords? Or do you have a synthesizer with a single audio output and wish that you could pan individual voices separately to get a larger sound? For me, I created this device because my Yamaha DX7 has a single audio output and I thought it would be cool to be able to pan and detune individual voices like an old Oberheim polysynth to get some epic pad sounds. I would like to introduce you to a free Max for Live device that I built called MIDI Note Splitter. It works with Ableton Live to take a MIDI performance or a MIDI sequence and split the notes out to different destinations so that they can be handled individually. For this demo, I'm going to start with a single MIDI input track that allows me to capture a performance and then three voice tracks, which will be my routing destinations. I've got an instrument on the input track so that we can preview what's happening there, and I'll put a copy of my MIDI note splitter device on each of the three voice tracks, or destination tracks. For the voice tracks, I'm going to set their MIDI from input to our input track, so that each of them gets the complete MIDI performance as their input. I'll play some notes that we can see how the information flows. Looks like I need to arm these tracks. There we go. Notice that as I play each note, these lights glow in sequence. There are 12 channels in the note splitter device, so we can have up to 12 destinations. And it does handle notes that are sustained. If I have changed the device configuration or have enabled and disabled tracks, then they might get out of sync with each other. You can press the reset button on one of the devices to reset all note splitter devices in your project. I usually do this before each important recording just to make sure everything is synchronized. For each track, I now need to specify which notes should be allowed to pass through the device. Remember that I have three output channels here. So for this first track, I will select every third note, starting with the first one. For the second track, I'll select every third note, but start with the second one. And the same thing for the third track, except I'll start with the third note. I'm going to take my synthesizer off of the input channel and add one to each voice channel instead. I'm using a software synthesizer to demonstrate this here, but this technique is usually more useful with hardware instruments since they have more limitations in voice count. For those hardware instruments, I would use Ableton's external instrument device to route them. One way to make your performance more interesting is to build variation into each of the voices. I'm going to vary the amount of reverb and panning on each of the voices to give them their own space. When I play one note at a time slowly, you can see and hear what is happening. Now, if I wanted to emulate the behavior of the classic Oberheim synthesizers, then I might want to create six voices instead of three. I have to change the note filters to pass every sixth note. Remember to reset the note counter after changing the configuration. This keeps everything in sync. Now I'll show you how I would set this up to get a polyphonic performance from a monophonic synthesizer or Eurorack. Instead of using these software synthesizers, I'd use an external instrument device or just keep these as MIDI tracks and set the output to my hardware synthesizer MIDI channel. The trick here is to perform the track with some kind of polysynth and record your performance and record the MIDI data. Software synthesizers that emulate classic gear are often useful for this. Then I'll play back that MIDI recording through each of the voices one at a time while recording the audio from my hardware monosynth. You'll need to enable one output track at a time to record that audio. 
Now I should have recorded my MIDI performance first, so let's do that. I'll add a software synth to the input track so that I can preview my performance and I'll just record some MIDI notes here for demonstration. Now that I have this MIDI sequence, I could play it through each of the voices one at a time and capture the audio. This device will give new life and new possibilities to your hardware synthesizers. If you make any songs or audio experiments with this, please send a link or post it in the comments. I'd love to listen to them, and I'm sure everyone else would too. Thanks!